right on the headache pro rata allotment very 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 important pro rata allotment for the sake of fun i call it as parota allotment i think right now you would have had some had some parotas and come to the class how many people have parotas so two people have already had parota and come to the class Too much of parotas. If you had no, you will not understand parota allotment because your mind will sleep then. So we'll discuss pro rata allotment. What is pro rata allotment? Listen to me carefully. A company issued a prospectus for issuing one lakh shares. What is a prospectus? It's an advertisement given by the company, whereby through the advertisement, company is going to invite the public to become shareholders in the company. I think you remember our story. Their company had issued a prospectus application forms, and then they collected money. Did you remember? So, company has mentioned in the prospectus that they want to raise money by issuing how many shares only? One lakh shares. Now, company cannot issue even one single share more. That is a maximum number of shares which the company can issue. They can allot lower number of shares, but they cannot cross that limit. Why? See, unnecessarily, company cannot be allowed to take capital from the public. I told you how number of shares decided in our example. You remember first story? I estimated what is my cash requirement, my timing of cash requirement. Based on that, I found out how many shares I have to issue. So, based on the requirement of the company, they are going to decide how much amount they want from the market. So, unnecessarily, they cannot be allowed to take capital from the public. That is why, if you have issued a prospectus for one lakh shares, you want to issue. You cannot issue more than that. You want to issue more than that. You have to issue a fresh prospectus again, receive money from the public. Okay. So in the prospectus, they advertise that they want to issue how many shares? One lakh shares to the public. Now, company received applications four lakh shares. People have applied for the shares, and public has applied for four lakh shares in the company. That means over subscription. The company wants to show only one lakh, but subscribe this four lakh. This situation is called as over subscription. Now, if you analyze these four lakh shares, you find a fact: A group, B group. C group and D group. Okay, A group applied for one lakh shares. B group, group of people or group of institutions. C group one lakh shares. D group one lakh shares. Let us suppose they are promoters of the company. That means they were the people who have. Started the company. B group was financial institutions, banks. C group was brokers, share brokers, stock dealers. D group was public. So four or five group of people have applied for your shares. What is the option available in front of the company? Company cannot allot four lakh shares. Company cannot make everybody happy. They can allot maximum one lakh shares. So what should we do? Now? What are the options available in front of the company? I'll tell you. First option: reject B group, reject C group, reject D group. Send their applications back. Tell them, sir, we wanted to issue only one lakh shares, but we have received application over and above what we wanted. So we cannot allot you a single share. Give the money back to B, C, and D. Send their checks back. That's it. Allot all the shares to A group. Possible company can do that, but is it a good practice? What will happen next time when you want money? These people will not apply even for one single share. Yes or no? India is a democratic country. You would understand. So that 
that should not be done by the company, but it is an option available. Second option, tell them Tata by way, C group and D group, tell them we cannot allow you even a single share, reject their applications, give the money back. A group give 75,000 shares, B group 25,000 shares. A group how many shares? 75,000 shares. B group 25,000 shares. So we are keeping this group and this group also happy. Is it clear? But we have made two groups unhappy. C and D. Third option available? Send D back home. Send the applications of D back. Reject them. Allot 50,000 to A, 25,000 to B, 25,000 to C. We have always favored treatment to A group. Why? Promoters know they shouldn't be company. They provide initial capital. So board is always bent towards A group. Is it clear? One option available. Or don't make anybody unhappy. Allot them 25K, 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 and 25 so we are telling, if you have applied for 4 shares, you will get an allotment of 1 share. That is called as pro rata allotment in a ratio, simple. In a ratio, in a proportion, we can say. So we are allotting shares in the proportion of 1 share for every 4 shares applied for. Allotment of 1 for 4 applied. This is the ratio which the company has decided. Is it clear? Now, listen to me carefully. Kaustab applied for 4 shares. I collected money from him. My company collected money from him. For 4 shares, application money. But I have allotted him only 1 share. Now that means I have 3 extra applications. Or application for 3 shares extra from him. I am not allotting share to him. Can I eat away that money? Kaustak will, Kaustak will come and stand in front of my home. He will say, Mera paisa mere ko de do. Yes. So I cannot cheat him. So what should I do? I should give the money back to Kaustak. You have applied for three extra shares. We are not able to allot. So take the application money back. Kaustak says, No sir, I don't want the money. Your company has allotted me one share. No. On that one share, I have to pay allotment. First call, final call money. So adjust this extra money towards allotment, first call and final call. Did you understand? Suppose, what is your name? Arun applied for 100 shares. Rich man. So he applied for 100 shares in the company. Company received applications for how many shares? 100 shares. But I am going to allot him how many, how many shares? I am going to allot only 25 shares to him. Now I have application money for how many shares extra with me? 75,000. Sorry, 75. For 75 shares I have extra application money. So one option is I should give that money back to him. If I give application money on 75 shares back to Arun, in future whenever I make calls, allotment money, first call money, final call money, Arun has to pay. Or second option Arun says don't give the money back. Keep the money with your company. Adjust the excess amount towards allotment money on 25 shares allotted, first call money on 25 shares allotted, final call money on 25 shares allotted. He says if there is any extra left, then you can return. After adjusting these amounts, if there is anything extra, you can return. Then I have to return. Okay. You remember calls in advance we did earlier? How to do accounting for calls in advance. So here, application money in pro rata allotment. Application money will do the job of calls in advance account. Which account will do the job? Application money will do the job of calls in advance account. Remember, when you receive money in advance, you credit calls in advance account. And later on we keep adjusting it to the relevant calls. Yes, that is what we didn't know. But in this particular topic, pro rata allotment, the excess application money will be considered as calls in advance. It would have to be adjusted towards allotment money, 
first call money or final call money on share allotted. Is it clear? Are you able to understand the point? Before we go into a pro rata allotment problem, let us do a revision of calls in advance problem and then we can continue with pro rata allotment. Right off. Everyone, please write down. Which company, where were we? Somewhere we discontinued that, no? We will continue it again. P. See, pro rata allotment, P limited. No, but we are not starting with pro rata allotment, no? Still, no problem. We will dedicate P limited to pro rata allotment. Write down. P limited issued. P limited issued shares of face value 100 each shares of face value 100 each at par number of shares issued 10,000 Application money three rupees. Allotment money three rupees. Application three hundred rupees. I said okay. thirty thirty right. Application money thirty. Allotment money thirty. First call twenty. First call money 20, final call money 20. Right now, a shareholder holding, a shareholder holding, a shareholder holding, thousand shares paid the Entire call money paid the entire call money along with paid the entire call money along with entire call money along with allotment money. Right entries in the books of the company. Right entries in the books of the company. Full stop. Quick. Right on. We we'll revise all entries where application money is received. Bank account data to share application account. Bank account data to share application account. How much amount? Ten thousand into thirty. How much is it? Three lakh. Next, when application money is transferred to capital, share application account that are 3 lakh to share capital account 3 lakh. Next. When allotment money is made due, what is the entry right? Share, allotment account data. How much? 10,000 into 30 only, no? 3 lakh. The amount which we are calling is towards face value. Hence, should be credited to share capital account. 
share capital account 10,000 into 30, 3 lakh. 4. When allotment money is received, here be careful. Bank account data or bank account data. Look at the board. We have received 3 lakhs plus a shareholder holding how many shares paid the entire call money along with allotment money? 1000 shares. 1000 into 40. 3 lakh 40,000 rupees. So we had to receive 3 lakh but we received 3 lakh 40,000. Out of 3 lakh 40,000, how much is towards allotment? Two share allotment. How much is it? Three lakh. And two calls in advance. It's a liability for the business, no? Without making him a debtor, he paid the money to us. He becomes creditor. Before making him the debtor, he paid the money to us. So he becomes creditor. Calls in advance. Forty thousand. In future, listen to me. In future, what you can do is give the advance back to him, take all money from him. Give his advance back and take all money from him. Or don't send the money back and take the same money again. Pass an adjustment entry. Is it clear? Give the money back. When you give advance back, what is entry will pass? Calls in advance to bank. Calls in advance to bank. And when you receive call money, what is entry right? Bank to call account. So calls in advance to bank. Bank account data to relevant call. Bank bank cancel. What is entry that remains? Calls in advance account data to to relevant call account. That is the entry you have to pass for adjustment of calls in advance. Remember how to adjust calls in advance? Just remember the return calls in advance. Take relevant call. Instead of giving the money back and again taking the same money as call money, you pass net entry. What is entry you pass? Calls in advance account return to relevant call account. Okay. Next. When first call money is made due, tell me what is entry we pass? Share first call account return. We are going to send the letters. We are going to send, we are going to make all zero as a letter. 10,000 into 20. 2 lakh. Share first call account data 20,000 to 10, 2 lakh. 2. Share capital 10,000 to 20, 2 lakh. First call money is received. What is entry you write? Bank account data to share first call account. Be careful. Bank account data how much now? 9000 into 20. 1,80,000. How much you have to adjust from calls in advance? You have to adjust some amount of calls in advance now, no. Calls in advance account data 1000 into 20. 20,000. 2 share first call account. 2 share first call account. 2 lakh. Bank account data 1,80,000. Bank account data 180,000. Calls in advance account data 20,000. To share first call account 2 lakh. Next. When final call is made due. What is entry we write for final call is made due? Share final call account data to. Share final call account data. How much? 10,000 into 20, 20,000, 2, share capital, 10,000 into 20, 20,000, 2 lakh, ok, 
Okay. Now, when amount is received, we are not going to receive the entire amount. The amount has to be adjusted from calls in advance. What is the entry pass? Bank account, debt are again 9000 into 20, 1 lakh 80,000. Calls in advance account, debt are 1000 into 20, 20,000. So, share final call account, 2 lakhs. To share final call, 2 lakhs. So when we receive the advance money, Advance account is credited. Okay? And when advance is adjusted, advance account is debited and the relevant call account is credited. Is it clear? Now, similar role in pro rata allotment is going to be played by what account? Share application account. Which account is going to play this role? Share application account is going to play the role. Okay? Right now. Next problem. Right on pro rata allotment problem. Very, very important. We have finished P limited now, no? So Q limited. Q limited issued. Q limited issued. Shares of face value ten rupees each. Q limited issued. Shares of face value ten rupees each at par. Right on. Number of shares issued ten thousand. Number of shares issued 10,000. Number of shares applied 20,000. Number of shares issued 10,000. But number of shares applied 20,000. Right now. The company allotted one share for every two applied. The company allotted one share for every two shares applied. The company allotted one share for every two shares applied. Full stop. Continue. Application money. 2.5 allotment money 2.5 rupees first and final call 5 rupees first and final call 5 rupees continue excess application money Excess application money was adjusted towards allotment. Excess application money was adjusted towards allotment. Full stop. Right entries in the books of the company. Listen to me carefully. If a person has applied for two shares, we are allotting him only one share. 
we are collecting from him 5 rupees but we are allotting him only 1 share that means we should not have collected 5 from him we should have collected only 2.5 from him because we are allotting him only 1 share what about the extra 2 rupees 50 paisa we have allotted him 1 share no we are saying on that share you have to pay me allotment money we will adjust it towards that are you going to understand? So we are going to use X application money towards what? Allotment money on shares allotted. Continue. Start writing entries. When application money is received, what is the entry right? Bank account data. Be careful. 20,000 shares now into 2.5. Why 20,000 shares? The public has applied for how many shares? 20,000 shares they have applied for 20,000 into 2.5 50,000 Bank account data 20,000 into 2.5 50,000 to Share application account Entire amount is credited to share application account 50,000 To share application account 50,000 Next When shares are allotted Listen to me carefully when shares are allotted, we have to transfer application money to capital. But how many shares are we going to allot? Only 10,000. So out of this application money collected, you have to transfer to share capital account application money only on 10,000 shares. Because we are allotting him only how many shares? 10,000 shares. Pass the entry. Share application account data 10,000 into 2.5. 25,000. Can I credit the entire 2.5 to share capital? Yes. Why? It is part of face value. In this problem, there is no premium. So, whatever we are collecting is towards face value. So, we got a full bucket of water. Half the bucket we have transferred to capital. The bucket is still has half. The bucket is still half full, and it has it has still some water. You can see application account amount collected fifty thousand. Amount transferred to capital as part of application money twenty five thousand. There is some excess application money collected. How much excess? Twenty five thousand. What should we do with that? First option, best option, give the money back. Give the money back. Whenever you write letters, they will send money. Or what does the problem say? Yes. X application money was to be adjusted towards allotment money. Now, see application account credited 50,000, debited 25,000. Application account shows a credit balance of 25,000. Application account shows a credit balance of 25,000. Call the advance also showed a credit balance of 20. Okay, call the advance also showed a credit balance. No. Application account showing credit balance. Call the advance shows credit balance. That means. Now the role of calls in advance is being played by share, share application account. So how you play with calls in advance? Same way you have to play with share application account. Is it clear? Now let us make the first call. First allotment money due. Allotment money due. What is the entry you write? Share allotment account data. Now without allotting shares to anybody, if you ask him to send money, will he send? Without allotting him shares, if you ask him to send money, will he send shares? He will say, do you think I am a fool? Allot me shares, I will send money. So how many, on how many shares can you ask them to pay allot money? On shares allotted, not shares applied. 10,000 into 2.5, 25,000. Share allotment account data, 10,000 into 2.5, 25,000. Now, we have called 2.5. Shareholder is made a data for 2.5. This is for what? Face value. So it should be credited to share capital account. To share capital account. Twenty five thousand. Now shareholder is appearing as a data here. Here is appearing as a creditor here. Same person. Data creditor. Can the same person appear as a debtor and creditor in your books of account? Can you count the person same twice? Can you count the same person twice? No. 
we cannot do double counting, so we have to remove both creditor from our books and data from our books. Same person is a debtor and is a creditor. Actually, that means he owes us no money. Listen carefully what I am saying. I am saying a same person is a debtor, he is also a creditor. That means he owes nothing to us. So what do you have to do? You have to adjust the amount now. You have to adjust excess application money towards what? Allotment money. Debtor, no. In that, in that particular account, share is appearing as a debtor. Right on. When excess application money is adjusted. Now, if you want some drama, and do the drama. You send a letter to him, ask him to send alert money. Shareholder will say, Come with this is not nice. I gave you extra application money. Give me the money back. Then I'll send you whatever you want. If you give the application money back, what is the entry you should write? I don't know, sir. Application money when you receive, what is the entry you wrote? Bank account data to share application. When you return money, what is the entry you should write? Share application account data to bank account. Returning money. Returning the Amount, this is the entry rate. What is the entry rate? Share application account at R2, bank account. Then you receive allotment money. What is the entry rate? Bank account at R2, share allotment. Can you be the entries again? Share application money account at R2, bank. And you return money. And you receive allotment money. Bank account at R2, share allotment. Bank, bank, cancel. What is the entry that remains? Share application money account at R2, share allotment account. Right on. Share application account data to share allotment. How much? Enter 25,000. Share application account data to share allotment is the entry we pass. Somebody go and close the door and those two windows. Just close the door. Go, close the door and come. Right on, next problem. Door, door, door. They have closed the door, they have stopped their work. <laughs> Continue. Right on. Next problem. What? What about extra money? No, it is funny. Sorry, I forgot. Call money. Tell me what is it doing right? Call money account data to call money account data to share capital. Ten thousand into fifty. Five no, fifty thousand. When money is received, bank account data to call money account. Bank account data to call money account. Pass the entries quickly. 